is just fantastic. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Hassan Piker. Hassan Piker was trending on Twitter. The reason why was because a video clip from one of his streams was doing its rounds. Originally it was a shorter clip, but mercifully somebody had bothered to upload a longer clip providing greater context as to what it is Hassan is complaining about. For those who don't know, Hassan is one of the internet's biggest political commentators. He streams primarily on Twitch. He has worked with the likes of the Young Turks, and he holds what are considered very progressive, left-leaning political views. In a video concerning Vosh, I did say Hassan Piker was right about something. It was a rare treat for him. Hassan Piker is a self-confessed Nepo child. His father was a member of a, ran in fact, a Fortune 500 company. He was very much involved in politics as well. Hassan liked to, over the years, downplay the benefit of that wealth and attributed his life and upbringing to that of a middle upper class child and not somebody who came from the higher echelons of society. This downplaying of his wealth, whilst also espousing socialist values, seems where many latch onto as a contradiction of him. Let's not forget here though, as people get older, we do change our perspectives. A little. Some drastically. Hassan has especially, considering he used to be more of a bro in the past. Now he's more of a, well, he's still a bit of a bro, but he's more of a hipster. Hassan is the subject of much in the way of internet discussion, hence the trending and memeage. Hence the discussion, many pointing out the contradictions and latching on to that. Today he is, and we are going to be responding to, his discussion of social burnout as a streamer. As a full-time YouTube creator, video producer predominantly, and I do stream almost every single day on Twitch, but nowhere near as long as he does, I can actually empathise with part of that. But I want to play that video, respond to relevant parts, and go through some perspectives of those on social media who might not or might actually agree with him. Having multiple perspectives is vitally important. Having your own opinion is equally important. To have your own opinion implies a level of potential critical thought, all of which is vitally important in political discourse. It's just a shame that, as is the case with politics, there isn't a single person involved in politics that actually has any critical thought. They just like to use it as a rather interesting buzz term. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. Tomorrow. I'm going to die, dude. The context for this is Hassan made it quite clear that his social battery as a streamer does from time to time run out as a streamer. Many people are rolling their eyes at this because they do not believe that to be the case. I stream typically for an hour and a half to two hours at most on Twitch. If I am with people, I can stream for many hours because I get the energy from those I'm streaming with. In this instance, I'm empathizing with Hassan because as someone that's more introverted, I have a very obvious social limit to how long I can talk to people or with people before I myself zone out or leave entirely. Hassan, when he has people on his stream, he can go for ages, because he's got that other person there to help carry the show. It's why myself and my friend Dave do streams for up to three hours doing whiskey stuff. It's what we do. It actually works to our benefit to have that other person there, even if that other person's a complete boomer. Hi Dave. Hassan though is getting a lot of flack from his chat about this social battery discussion. That is the context. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here, and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. I would say there is a partial amount of truth to that, depending on the type of person working in that occupation. There are some who have a natural tendency, because of interpersonal skills and behaviours, to not wear out their social battery by working in environments like retail, where you're more one-to-one -one with customers. There are others who work that environment but do not have the personality traits to be able to perform that job as well as others. Sales oriented and non-sales oriented, more extroverted, more introverted, those kind of behaviours, it's quite important. It gets quite interesting really when you think about those behavioural tests online to try and work out the kind of person you are. 
I mentioned INTJ for myself, because while my father is very extroverted, I was raised by a very introverted mother. I got most of my behavioural traits from her. The social battery part, and then obviously the discussion about a real job, is a fascinating one. I consider what I do in the online space to be my real job. Of course, away from this, I have an alternative form of income, courtesy of the cleaning work. From a personal stance, I think it's important to have something away from the keyboard to keep yourself centred, balanced. Something also that pays, and you have a guarantee of that pay. Not all of us can generate the tens of thousands of viewers, listeners, on a daily to stream and talk about quite contentious subjects and do well from it. So basically, I'm a, I'm a slave for views. Smash the like. This is where I am vaguely understanding what he's trying to say without downplaying it just yet. Okay, I'm telling you, as someone who did, did both, like, nine hours of, of constant performance and people-pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do physical labor. It would not bother me. Until you have experienced that kind of occupation, please do not speak from a level of authority on it, because I do think unless you actually know what it's like to do those kinds of jobs, to then go and do physical labor like you mentioned, your mere speculation on what you believe you could do does not help you, and it certainly does not cement your point. But I can't f***ing do more social sh That's my point. Like... So that's you knowing your own body, knowing what you can handle, what you can tolerate. Again, a speculation though, spoken from a position of authority about yourself. Without the experience, the life experience to go with it though, it falls flat, like I earlier stated. I myself have worked many retail jobs and found that after doing lengthy shifts, my younger, more extroverted personality was quite happy to go socialize. Just had no one to socialize with. As I got older, I found that my ability to socialize diminished. And I found that after, let's say, three hours around people, I no longer want to be around people. On my Discord server, I am not the most active voice chat user. And the reason why is because I burn out from streaming, I burn out from making videos, which shows how I appear to have regressed over time. Whereas when I started and I was more part-time on Discord and on YouTube, I was able to be in VCs for longer periods of time. The nature of my occupation changed as did my ability to want to talk, if that makes sense. I'm again trying to empathize a bit. Let this play out. We'll get some of the criticism soon. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are like, I think, customer service type shit. To an extent, you are somewhat correct. We as creators and streamers have customers. Our customers are our audience. Some will buy it in the form of donation or support, patronage, that kind of deal. And our job as creators is, of course, to try and grow that. Some of us have a natural gift for it. Others do not. Many of us know that the product we want to make may not fall in line with what, what our customer would want to purchase. Is it remotely comparable, though? The answer will always be a no, because it is considered, because a differing occupation type, to be a false equivalence. Also, it would be considered slightly peculiar to come from somebody who is argued to be out of touch, being that you are someone that comes from money and is quite wealthy already. Sometimes, though, we have to try and separate the point and the person making the point, because regardless of how irritating the person is, they can sometimes be correct. But, like, if you're an accountant or if you're... Even, like, in sales, my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it so my earlier comment of false equivalence is somewhat correct because you are trying to downplay other occupations whilst not understanding the social battery aspects can apply to many differing sectors for different types of employment for example, it would be rude of me now to compare my making a video once a day or twice a day in some instances to that of somebody who lays bricks for a living. Yeah, think about it this way. Like, 
Um, you give presentations for your job, right? Imagine giving a presentation for nine hours straight. It's like, after a while, you'd be like, I don't want to talk ever again. <laughs> I don't think it is the same as that, personally. Of course, you could easily change that, by the way, by reducing your stream time down to protect yourself more. Reasoning for streaming so long seems redundant at that point, if you know it harms your social battery as you yourself put it. And the wonderful thing about being a streamer is, you can, at your level especially, you can choose to stream for as long as you want. You can choose when to walk away. Something that separates you from the oikery that have proper jobs, who are proper jobs, is that many of them do not get to walk away like this. You can. So you choose to because apparently you're a masochist. This is quite important to acknowledge. Many people who are employees are bound by a contract to perform a duty. They are bound by it and therefore they must complete it, fulfill it or be punished. You get flack on a regular basis and yet you're still here, still pulling numbers, still grinding away. But if you reduced how much you made or how much you streamed, I don't think it would impact you as negatively as it would creators on a much smaller scale or level. Other creators who are monstrous as YouTubers walk away for a bit or reduce their output on purpose to prioritize their personal life. Unless you're desperately trying to protect a profit margin or because election season you've got to be more active or because you're the biggest therefore you are responsible, you don't really have a valid reason to intentionally cause harm to yourself. Unless this is your own interpretation of professionalism so you can make it seem like you can understand and empathize with those who do have proper jobs as it has been dubbed by those who do not look at streamers as real jobs or YouTubers or content creators as a whole. Perhaps now would be a good time to look at some of the criticisms and not criticisms you've received. Rob with the broken optics. Hassan is a moron rich kid that never worked a day in his life. His opinions on anything are invalid. Streaming was the easiest thing I ever did in my life and even then I did more work than him. This effort just sits watching other people's stuff eating or babbling BS. And there lies a very valid point. While Hassan might put in some effort from time to time, he does do a lot of reaction content, which is arguably the easiest and laziest of content formats. The eating part is a popular trend for mukbangs. When you stream for that long, I'm not surprised he eats during it. And the babbling BS is usually because of his political takes being a bit meh. TC Brady. Millionaire streamer Hassan Piker claims that a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you in the same way that streaming absolutely will. Noam. Noam? Bloom. Blum. Hassan blames streaming for the fact he has no soul. Muta. Seeing the origin of this discourse still has me disagreeing. I don't doubt the social battery draining, but in most jobs you don't have the luxury of turning off a stream or blocking out people. YouTube isn't my job. Six days I'm up early and from sunrise to sunset I'm mostly in meetings and overseeing operations for my company. I wish my job could be turned off sometime. Or I could skip a meeting with some time with some time irrational clients. Yes, that. I don't know, maybe I'm old school, but streaming YouTube will always appear to be a privileged job compared to the soulless 9 to 5. And in this, I can agree with Muta. I also have more respect for this guy now that I know he has a job away from YouTube. Considering the views this guy pulls in on YouTube, he could just do YouTube. TC Brady. My message to Hassan fans included a job application. Nick Diorio, they really should do a reality show where streamers have to get a job, Lamal. Included an image from Denims. As someone who has worked 12 hour shifts with a four hour commute while going to uni full time, streaming is easily the hardest job I've had. The post stream social exhaustion is so real, I don't know how anyone could do it every day. Willie Mac, this guy makes up poop for nine hours a day and his commute to work is walking into his fifth bedroom in his $3 million mansion, but somehow a real job is hard, LMFAO. Tipster, while streaming and content creation does have its own unique set of challenges, this is a brain dead take and clearly one made by someone who hasn't worked a laborer job a day in their life. Again, a completely valid point. You cannot compare that of sitting on your ass on a computer all day to that of doing physical labor. My friend Cindy, both jobs are tiring, but streaming is on your terms with volunteering help from a fan base, assistance from the block and mute buttons. It's still so privileged compared to giving up some of my favorite hobbies to coordinate with team members, meet deadlines. Also, most offices don't allow us to eat while working to avoid food spillage on devices. Commoners stay on our feet for environment maintenance and general hygiene at the office. Then when I come home, there's also caring for loved ones. 
you privileged little poops. Sam Thorne. Hassan is 100% correct though. I've worked so many different jobs and streaming annihilates your social battery. One of the very few negatives of an otherwise fantastic job. I don't even see how this is controversial to people. Oh. Jobs have downsides. It seems like people just don't like hearing a rich dude talking about it. Now some people who have offered criticisms are not themselves free of it. Muta's take from earlier was retweeted by Gremlo who had said, this is what out of touch looks like. A business owner who sets the rules of their company trying to grandstand about how much he's on his grind, but just wishes he could take a break. Zero introspection, just do hate farming. Another thing, being overworked is not a brag. Muta retweeted this by saying, building something that outlives you with your own two hands is something I don't expect you to ever understand. I never came from money. My life is a reflection of the hours and stress put in. No, as a business owner, correct spelling of course, you don't have the luxury of your own times when you're responsible to your and the well-beings of others. Call it hate farming, I call it the truth. Do something with your life and world you've been planted in. Muta was also retweeted by Jas Likes Water. F it, I'm doing bad faith arguments. Give a nurse or a cybersecurity expert a camera and tell them to talk about politics in front of 20k for 9 hours every day for a year and see how long they can go before they quit from the harassment or lose viewership because they suck. I should point out, it is Hassan's choice, the subject matter that he streams on. Everything he does is down to his choice. He can say it's customer service and he panders to them, but that just further proves a different point about his content. This was retweeted by Willie Mac who said, give Hassan a nursing job and have him change bedpans for a living. WTF is the logic here, LMFAO. The most brain dead people are Hassan viewers. The quartering. Asmon is also a multi-millionaire even though he tries to conceal that fact. People don't want to hear complaints from millionaires about how hard sitting in front of a computer is. Retweet of Jazz Likes Water. Asmon Gold agrees that streaming is socially draining and look at the like to dislike ratio. It's very conflicted. I know very little about Asmon Gold. I really do know little about this guy. But clearly this subject is more divisive than many would like to admit. Not Denims. Talk about my personal experience about how taxing streaming is. Uh, my job is harder, streaming is actually easier. Yeah, and yeah, okay. Retweeted by Nick Diorio, she's crying on her alt Twitter that this is also public. Lamau. We'll do one more tweet. Hassan Abi recently caught fire for his out of touch rant on how streaming is harder than a regular 9 to 5 job. Hassan grew up rich and pampered, and his success is largely due to nepotism. You may notice at the bottom of that tweet a thread. We're not going to go through that. We don't need to go through that. Many people know about the contradictions of Hassan's life. He himself has tried to explain some of his successes and failings or downplay it, don't care. A lot of what has happened can be reduced down to a simple false equivalence or a lack of understanding from being out of touch. Others will use that exact same logic against those detractors or perceived logic. This is quite important. It is entirely subjective. I understand the concept of a social battery though. It is something I regularly use with those I speak to. It is something I believe does exist but I'm not so dumb as to compare it to other things. It is an experience I have for things I do. Notice how I said dumb to compare. Yes, I'm not that stupid. In this, Hassan is. He streams for nine hours and he bleats on, and he does that quite often. Sometimes clips like this surface because he hasn't really given it the thought it needed, and that is his undoing in these kinds of streams. If you are complaining about the quality of your life being affected away from the stream, might I suggest you stream less. You will find that the social battery or burnout will alleviate, abate, regress a bit if you actually spend time doing something for you. Which you do on stream all the time. I've seen some of the jackassery you've been up to and the clips do their rounds all the time. It's why you trend a lot, but you do you boo. You do what's best for your business. I will try and do what's best for mine, but turns out not entirely sure.